Buster the Very Shy Dog in the Great Bone Game by Liz Beto. Bone Training. Before Buster came to Roger's house, bones were something for Phoebe to chew on. After Buster came, bones were something for Phoebe to collect. One day, Buster asked Phoebe, how did you get so many bones? I saved them up, she answered. It makes me feel rich. What is rich? Asked Buster. Rich is when you have lots of bones, answered Phoebe. Between chews, how can you save them if you chew them? Buster asked. I chew slowly, answered Phoebe. Suddenly, Phoebe looked up. She dropped her bone and ran outside, barking. Buster dropped his bone and followed her. When Buster came back, his bone was gone. Why are your bones still here and mine isn't? He asked. My bones are well trained like me, said Phoebe. You are just a puppy. You have a puppy bone. It is not well trained. Oh, said Buster. He began to chew on the rug. Don't chew on that, cried Roger. Chew this. He gave Buster more bones. Wow, thought Buster. I'm getting rich. Buster and Phoebe chew their bones. Suddenly, Phoebe ran outside, barking. This time, Buster did not follow her. Phoebe came back. Why didn't you help me guard the house? She asked. I don't think I should leave my bones alone until they are all well trained, said Buster. Oh, said Phoebe, would you like me to help you train them? Okay, said Buster, let's train them to stay. Okay, said Phoebe. First, tell them to stay in a very firm voice. Then run outside and come back. Stay, barked Buster. He ran outside and came back. One of the bones is gone, cried Buster. It was not a smart bone, said Phoebe. The smart bones will stay. Try again. Stay, barked Buster. He ran outside and came back. Another bone was gone. Stay, 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 barked Buster. He ran outside. When he came back, there was only one bone left. Roger came over to watch. I hope this is a smart bone, thought Buster. Stay, he growled and ran outside. I think the, the dogs are silly. When Buster came back, the bone was still there. Hooray, cried Buster. That is one smart bone, said Phoebe. Now let's train your bone to sit. Maybe later, said Buster. I need to chew this one for a while. The Great Bone. One day when Buster was all grown up, an amazing smell came over the fence. Wow, barked Buster. Yummy, barked Phoebe. In the next yard was an enormous dog chewing an enormous bone, a very big bone. I want that bone, whispered Phoebe. Enormous means really big. But Phoebe, said Buster, following her, it's not your bone, it's his bone. Besides, you already have lots of bones. I don't have a bone like that one, said Phoebe. Go make friends with them. She shoved Buster through the fence. Um, hi, said Buster. Rrr, said the enormous dog. Drool slid down his shiny white teeth. Buster tried to push back through the fence, but the, the loose board was stuck. Buster gulped. 
Um, I'm Buster. What's your name? Gregory. Grab the dog. Oh, that's a nice bone you have, Gregory. Is it trained yet? Asked Buster. Huh? Gregory cocked his head. Cock his head. Does your bone know how to stay? Asked Buster. My bone does not know anything, said Gregory. It's a bone. It took a long time to train my bones, said Buster. I can help train, help you train yours. Really, said Gregory. How? Just tell your bone to stay, said Buster. Then go away and come back to see if it listened. Okay, Gregory told his bone. Stay, grr, stay. What do you think will happen? Gregory ran to the end of the yard and back. Wow, your bones stayed on the very first try. I wish my bones had been that smart, said Buster. Now let's both go, said Gregory. To really test it, they ran all the way around the house. When they came back, the bone was gone. They looked for it all around the yard. What do you think that has happened? Who took the dog a bone? Mm-hmm. There it is, said, cried Gregory. Hooray, said Buster. Phoebe found your bone. She did, said Gregory. Phoebe dropped the bone. Some smart bone, she said, licking her lips. My friend Buster helped me train it, said Gregory. Buster wagged his tail. Phoebe, Buster, Roger was calling them in for supper. See you later, Gregory, said Buster. Buster and Phoebe squeezed back through the fence. I still have more bones than you, said Phoebe. That's okay, said Buster. I have a new friend. And he felt just as rich as Phoebe. So this story is about Phoebe trying to collect a lot of bones and it make her feel rich. And Buster was learning from her to also collect bones. But later on, Buster find out that, you know, having a friend is just as rich. The end.